So today we're going to do the 2D animation uh, of, of face rigging. We will do the face rigging of a 2D character, okay? And uh, <clears throat> first we'll import the file, okay? And we will name them on the basis of the characteristics like face, mouth, nose, hair, etc, etc, etc. Okay, uh, once you're done with that, we will first work on the eyes, okay? So we'll take out the eyes, okay, we will... And then, uh, to keep the pupil in the foreground and the eye white portion as a background, okay? This is a very common sense. I know you guys are smart, of course, yeah, Tobit. Okay, once you're done with that, we'll add a merge node, okay? So that the left eye and the right eye uh, merges together, okay? And uh, we'll add a merge node, alright? And after that, we you see we have an eye, yes. Uh, now we'll add a transform node, and it's done. Okay. Uh, so before I uh, start anything, okay, I want to tell that I will be using wireless node, okay, and uh, underlay node, so that it doesn't become a clumsy fusion composition. Okay. So, so now uh, we will work on the hair. Okay. Uh, so I have in this I have three hairs, like three bangs and then a uh, scalp and the uh, background hair okay a lot of thing i know it was bad idea but yeah i did it and it was kind of immature thing but it's okay you know you guys shouldn't do it and uh, yeah all right so we will add all this uh, here okay and uh, let's give our hair two portions okay one is the background the big one and the bangs which is which will be the front okay we added our background here now keep it under okay the merge so it will be back of the skin of the face of the skin and uh, keep the front hair at top okay and now we will add the eyebrows okay so to add eyebrows we will just you know, add eyebrows and you know, like just merge it you know it, it's easy i know you guys can do it so it's easy and you know, like after that uh, we'll add the merge, okay, and once we're done with that, now we have to add the eyelids, okay, so the eyelids that I made was not very good, so I'll be making eyelid another one from here, I will take a eclipse node and the background node, and I will give it a shape of a, of an oval, okay, and I will atop it over the pupil and the eye, okay, so it will become a eyelid that is that is quite good quite nice right so yeah and uh, i will just copy the eyelid okay and i will make it uh, make it right eyelid you know this is the left one so i will just make the right one and uh, just copy like this instance node the background node okay not the eclipse node or the transform node okay because if you do that uh, it will just be on the left left hand side not on the right hand side okay i mean the eyelid of the right eye will be the left eye if you if you like instance everything so just keep the color background instance it's up to it's optional you can do it or you can just copy and like you know control v you know uh, yeah so after that uh we see that the eyelids are done okay the eyelids are in perfect position and uh, it's looking very good yeah and uh, we will add a transform dot center as expression uh, in the center node of uh, the right one or you can do the left one so that if you move the left one the right one will move too okay and then later on we will add this to a custom tool node which will be beneficial for us so now if you see like if we move the left one the right one also moves with it yeah the so this is the mouth portion okay uh, uh it's very easy just Merge it, everything, okay, the mouth one, mouth two, and the nose, okay? And then uh, add the underlay node, and you're done, okay? And don't forget to add a wireless node for this section, okay? Now we'll add a custom node tool, okay? And after that, we'll uh, add edit controls, okay? In edit controls, what you have to do is, like, add a checkbox, okay? So that we can, what mouth uh, we want to use, and, like, we can have more than two mouths, okay? So in that, in that case, we have to use the custom tool node. But if you have just two one, you can use switch node. Okay, one is uh, sad M1, that's mouth 1 and mouth M2. So keep the input control to checkbox, okay? So that if you click on it, if you check it, it will have a smile or sadness. If you unclick it, it will disappear, okay? So that's how it will work. Or you can, if you have just two expression, just 
uh, smile and sad you can add a switch node if you like but if you have more than two expression of your mouth use the custom tool node that yep that is very beneficial so once we're done with that um so yeah we're done with this and uh, we'll go to the second one now it is like to add all the controls yeah so i by mistake i did uh included the face as a face center control yeah so you shouldn't do it uh include the face median to the face center okay only keep the hair the ears and the eyes okay and uh, keep the ear and the hair invert the background hair keep it as invert okay so that it has this uh it has this motion like you're literally moving okay and uh, once you're done with that it's all set half of the thing is done almost everything is done now all you have to do is uh, give some animations okay uh, uh one thing that you have to do is uh, all the things that you did on transform transform just add the, all of those in uh, in the custom tool node, so it's just easier for you to animate. You don't have to just go to the nose, uh, the the direct node to change something. Okay, so in the custom tool node, I have the mouth first, like mouth one, mouth two, and in the now you see if if when you're moving when you're moving it, uh, it's having the motion right from the input node, so you don't have to go back to the original node to change something that it is very beneficial because uh, imagine you have uh, more than two three characters and then you have uh, the whole body you know so then you can do is like add uh, two three custom tool nodes you can of course uh, include more in one custom node but uh, custom tool but uh, separating it is uh, kind of easier uh, because you know which things are for which, right? So now we will just change the names, okay? Uh, keep the third one as eyebrows, the fourth one as eyelids, and the first one for face, and the second one for... Second one for... For... Second one for... I forgot. Well... And uh, keep the second one for uh, pupil... The first one for face okay and uh, everything is done and then now all you have to do is is use some keyframe and unleash your creativity and you just have to do is and all you have to do now is unleash your creativity and uh, create something special right something magnificent something that is unexpectedly amazing so I hope you all will succeed in your life. I will meet you soon in my next video. Until then, take care.